Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Roman again from Strength by Doing. Uh, right now I'm walking back towards this long hallway. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, kind of one of the hallways where I work. Uh, looks a little bland, but hey, it's actually a pretty cool place to work. It's, you know, computer stuff, so everything's hidden. You'll never get to see where I work exactly, but this is a hallway. And I'm pretty sure you know what those look like. Um, so today I was able to uh, get to the chiropractor this morning and get some things checked out and actually get my mind open a lot because I was not aware of the problems that I actually had. Um, I actually thought that one of my legs that I thought was weak was actually the dominant leg that's overworking for the other side that's actually really weak, you know, which is really strange because I always thought that my other side was actually really strong and, it, and it's always been a lot more flexible. Well, it's because it's not over tense from overworking all the time. Um, so I get to work on that and go back to the chiropractor again. I got my shoulder checked out. It's feeling a little bit better, but we're still going to be working on it a little bit more. Um, the record 2008 really, really kind of, kind of destroyed that. Oh, I got my putty on today. Um, but uh, they did this thing called the, I think the Gaston or Gastrin, Graston technique. And basically, kind of like a, a scraping of the shoulder. They call it basically shoulder scraping or in my scapula area, just kind of really working out the old scar tissue that, that's been developed from when I got my injury and didn't really heal too well. Um, it feels a little bit better, but I still have a little bit of areas that are just still kind of working out. Those are things I got to take note of and what exactly I feel different. Um, got my, you know, it's got my back slightly readjusted. It, it feels a little bit better, but at the same time, I still feel a little bit of a pinch. But overall, I'm more aware of the issues that I do have, like uh, my, like one of my glutes is not firing like it should versus the other side, the quads being over dominant on one side. Um, but I get to work on that from now on and then go check with the uh, chiropractor a few times on that. Um, again, like I said yesterday, is that go get yourself checked out if you need to. Um, if, you, if you really think that you can handle this all by yourself sometimes, if you don't, if you're not an expert on some of this stuff, you might need to go get yourself checked out because, um, I mean, like myself, I think one side's the weak side, it actually ends up being the strong side. I think I'm tense at one spot, it's really the other side, or just different things like that. Um, in the morning, I get to see what my first workout is afterwards. Uh, probably won't be able to get to ride my bike this week, because I'll be dealing with uh, going to the chiropractor and getting things checked out, and uh, I actually have a lot to do this weekend. Um, hopefully go see a movie with my brother, which is gonna be sweet. Um, just trying to actually get out and do a lot more stuff other than just focus on just myself. Um, I actually got asked if I was a CrossFitter quite a few times today, but it was at a near a CrossFit gym and for some reason I guess people think I'm a CrossFitter. Uh, which is funny because every time I see a CrossFitter they have tiny calves. What is with uh, tiny calves and CrossFitters? Um, I like to actually think that I use my body a little bit more. Um, but I suppose that's really all I have so much for today. I don't have much to talk about. I might write an article later tonight. Um, but the thing is that if you really feel that you need to get something checked out on yourself, take the time to make sure you get it checked out. Um, and while you're getting up and getting out and doing something, if you feel something that's just not right in your body, you feel like you're weak on one side or you have to lean on the other side, it, it might be something going on. Um, it might not be. It might just be you know, small things or what you think is like, I have an old injury that might have actually been making me weak on one side and versus the other side. Um, other than that, you know, getting everything done. I have, an, I have one topic I really want to talk about soon. Um, and then really, what I really want to talk about, or what I want to say towards the end of this is, uh, don't limit yourself to a definition. Uh, once you define yourself, you limit yourself on what you can and can be. While you're setting your goals, you have your goals and that's the you that you're gonna become. But once you get there, don't stay there. I mean, if that's where you wanna be, you can progress. You get to a goal, you wanna hit your, your certain limits that you think you might be able to reach. Well, you get there, you realize, it's like, you know what, I've done this. Now let's see what else I can do. What else can you do? Um, and that's that's really good stuff to think about. Um, once you get to when I, when I finish my first partner race, you're like, oh, this is awesome. You know, maybe maybe I'll be able to do it. Maybe I won't. 
maybe I'll want to do it again. Maybe I, maybe I'll just be like, you know what, I'm done with the racing. And um, it really is just, you know, take what you learn from your experiences. Like I'm saying, focus on your goals. But once you get completed with those goals, then you can venture on to something else. I'm not saying take on like 30 different projects at once and try to do all of them at the same time. Focus on one, go to the other, because what you're gonna learn in one, it's gonna help build you as a person and be able to carry that and those experiences and that and those character traits within yourself on perseverance and being able to you know apply yourself towards other things that you want to complete if you have if you have yourself spread too thin on everything it's going to be very difficult to uh, maintain that enthusiasm through everything you actually enjoy in fact you might start to um, regret doing so many things and feeling that you can't do it all because you're spreading yourself too thin so even though I say, you know, don't define yourself, it means once you reach a goal, you don't have to stick with it. You know, you, you can reach it, you can climb higher, you can go to another mountain and climb that one, but at least, you know, just keep on going. All right, well, I'm kind of ranting on. Um, I might write about this later or not, but, uh, you know, take care. Uh, follow my blog, strengthbydoing.com, facebook.com slash strengthbydoing. Um, still working on the Twitter thing. I set it up, but I didn't have actually do anything with it yet. It's strength by doing, of course. <laughs> um, or if you have any questions, email me at uh, strengthbydoing at gmail.com. That's my YouTube account, so that'll actually go to me a lot faster than my other emails will. So uh, talk to you later.